Welcome to App to Your Destination. Uh, before watching this video, I would highly recommend you to watch the introduction video of permutation and combination because in this video we will be solving sums and I'll also be teaching more concepts and tricks and tips to solve permutation and combination but the basic you need to learn it from that video. I will put the link in the description box below. Do check it out. And now we will be solving level of difficulty 1 from Arun Sharma's book of quantitative aptitude for CAT. And I also checked it with the UPSC CSATS paper uh, of 2023 and I feel like it aligns with the questions were of the same pattern. So basically if we solve level of difficulty 1 and 2, I think you will be perfectly ready to attend UPSC CSAT 2024, hopefully. The first question we are going to solve. Uh, please pause the video and read the question completely. So basically there are five digits, one, two, three, four, five, and we are supposed to form three digit numbers and repetition of digits is not allowed. Now I want you to identify if this comes under permutation or combination. I have explained in that video the difference between permutation and combination. So basically if selection alone is the matter, we go for combination. But if we are going to do selection along with arrangement, we will go with permutation. So I want you to identify if the order of selection matters here or not. It does matter because if you select let's say 1, 2, 3, you can also write this as 2, 1, 3 or 2, 3, 1 and so on. So basically the order of selection is going to play a role here. So we are going to go for the permutation formula. I hope you people remember the formula for permutation. NPR where N is the total number of objects and R is the required number of objects. So here the total number of objects will be 5 and the required number of objects is this 3 digit number so 3. So now we substitute 5p3 that will give us 5 factorial divided by n minus r factorial that is 5 minus 3 which is 2 factorial. This will be 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 divided by 2 into 1. So this will be 5 4s are 20, 23s are 60. So answer is 60, that is option C. Now I want you to also identify the logic behind this. Without using this formula, I want to explain the logic behind this. Now if you see this three digit number, this first digit can be occupied by any of these five digits. So I am putting five here, okay? And now the second digit will be occupied by the leftover four digits, right? So for example, one of these digits has already occupied this place. Let's say three has occupied this place. Since there is no repetition of digits, we will have only four more possibilities for the second position, right? So I will put four here. And then let's say this was occupied by 4 itself. Now I will have only 3 more possibilities for the third digit. So which means 4 into 3, uh, sorry, 5 into 4 into 3, that is 60. So we use this 5 in, into 4 into 3 into because we know that each number can be um, clubbed with any other number. So that is why we are multiplying. So permutation has this. This is one of the logic like without this formula you can arrive at this logic. I am explaining this logic because when there is slight twists in the question it's important that you understand the logic instead of just the formulae. We'll go to the next question. Now here they have given 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 but the numbers should be between 2000 and 3000 which means the numbers can be from 2001 to 2999 since it's between 3000 won't be a part of this so basically there are four digits and now we know the first digit is anyways is going to be 2 right because it's between 2000 and 3000 and 3000 is also not included therefore this digit can only be 2 
so now we are not considering this part at all because it's fixed it's fixed for any values that is going to come here so now here you should apply the logic to, with the numbers that is given to you now since there is no repetition of numbers this 2 cannot take any place in this because it has already taken the place here so basically the remaining numbers are 0 1 3 4 5 6 and 7 that is 7 numbers so for 7 numbers n is equal to 7 and you would have identified by now that it is a permutation problem because the order of selection matters so basically r is equal to 3 digits are there so 3 the formula would be as such 7p3 7 factorial divided by 7 minus 3 4 factorial 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 factorial you can write it this way because 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 is 4 factorial right and 4 factorial here so you can just cross this which will give you 6 fives are 30 30 into 7 is 210 is option B now let's go to the next question please pause the video and read the question completely they have given there are eight non collinear points which means none of them lie in a straight line let's just take one two three four five six seven eight so if I want to form straight lines I would require two dots right so two points to form a straight line this way or this way or this way any such way and if you notice the order of selection does not play a role here because I can select this one first and this one second I will get the same line or I can select this one first and this one second I will still get the same line so therefore the order of selection does not play a role at all so it is clear that we are going to use combination formula therefore N C R is the combination formula and we know that there are eight non-collinear points in total which will be n is equal to eight and there are two points that are required points to form a straight line so r is equal to two now all you have to do is substitute in the formula we know that eight c two can be written as eight factorial divided by r factorial will be two factorial and n minus r factorial is eight minus two that is six factorial now i can write this as 8 into 7 into 6 factorial divided by 2 factorial into 6 factorial i'll cancel these out i'll cancel 2 and 8 so i will get 7 into 4 that is 28 so my answer is option a let's go to the next question please pause the video and read the question completely so they have given that nc3 is equal to nc8 so now i want you to notice this note this down like carefully because this is a proof you won't be able to manually solve it because if you uh, solve by formula you will get n factorial divided by 3 factorial into n minus 3 the whole factorial which is equal to 8 factorial minus so this is the formula that you'll get and you won't be able to solve it with cancelling and all that so this won't work here so that is why i'm going to introduce you to a proof that will be useful for your exams so basically the proof goes like this ncr is equal to nc n minus r this is nothing but let's say I'm taking I'm going to explain this with an example so let's say I'm taking 5c2 and if I am going to substitute it here I'll get 5c n minus r that is 5 minus 2 3 so the the proof says that these two will give me an equal value so let us check 5c2 will give you 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial into 5 minus 2 that is 3 factorial and if you check for 5c3 you will get 5 factorial divided by 3 factorial into 5 minus 3 2 factorial so you can clearly see that these two are equal so this is the proof therefore now using this concept we are going to find out this so if you notice here 5 
this n minus this r is giving the value of this r right so that is what that has been written here so n r so this value would be n minus r basically i'll have to just equate it here so n minus 3 should give me 8 with this i can find the value of n right n is equal to 8 plus 3 that is 11 so my answer is option a 11 i hope you guys understood this proof so make sure you remember this in your examinations let's go to the next question make sure you read the question uh, if n c 4 is equal to 70 we are supposed to find n so this is going to be easy because we have options that has 5 8 4 7 and 9 so if we substitute 5 c 4 we are going to get 5 factorial divided by 4 factorial into 1 factorial which is 5 so this is not the answer next we'll go for 8 8 c 4 will give me 8 factorial divided by 4 factorial into 4 factorial 8 minus 4 that is 4 factorial so this will give me 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 factorial divided by 4 factorial into 4 factorial so i can cancel this and now i can also write this 4 factorial as 3 into 2 into 1 where i'll be cancelling 4 twos are 8 and i'll be cancelling 3 twos are 6 now 7 fives are 35 into 2 is 70 so my answer is right for 8 therefore option b is the right answer so the next question is 10 p r is equal to 720 there are options that are given already 4 5 3 6 and 7 so we can first substitute 4 that will give us 10 factorial divided by n minus r factorial that is 6 factorial that will be 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 so 6 factorials will get cancelled okay so we know that uh, 9 into 8 is 72 and 72 into 10 is 720 so this 7 is extra here therefore this is not the option now which will give us the value of 10 into 9 into 8 the 7 factorial should get cancelled here so basically I should get 7 factorial in the denominator and how will I get that I will get that by n minus r that is 10 minus something should give me 7 so 10 minus 3 would give me 7 right so that is it basically 3 will be our answer you can check it by 10 p3 that is 10 factorial divided by 7 factorial that will give you 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 factorial divided by 7 factorial 7 factorials will get cancelled and you will get 10 into 9 into 8 that is 720 therefore option c is your right answer so we'll go for the next question the next question says it's a motor vehicle re registration number of four digits so the four digits can be formed with the digits one two three four five and zero so now uh since they have said only four digits we might think zero cannot take this place right it is kind of common that uh, we can think that way but then it is important that you concentrate on the question it is given that it is for motor vehicle which means zero taking this position does not matter so basically you will have to give every position every number as uh, possibilities here so now i have one two three four five six six possibilities so basically the first position can be occupied by six different numbers and there is no repetition so basically this will be occupied by five different numbers and in turn this will be occupied by four different possibilities and this can be occupied by three different possibilities so six fives are 30 30 into 12 would give you 360 therefore your answer is option d that is 360 the next question they have given that there are five blue socks four red socks and three green socks and now they have said that someone has to select just four socks and in how many ways he can do this so now we know that this color uh, code does not matter like we don't have to consider this for this question so basically the total number of socks that we have is 5 plus 4 plus 3 that is 12 so 12 will be n 
and 4 is the required number of socks therefore 4 will be R now I want you to identify if it is permutation or combination problem of course it's combination problem because the order of selection does not matter at all therefore NCR that is 12 C4 which will be written as 12 factorial divided by 4 factorial into 12 minus 4 factorial which is 12 factorial divided by 8 factorial into 4 factorial solving this we'll get 12 into 11 into 10 into 9 into 8 factorial divided by 4 factor 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 into 8 factorial so we can cancel this and we can also cancel 3 for 9 and we can cancel 4 for 3 we can also cancel this so now we will get um, the answer as 495 therefore option C is the right answer let's go for the next question uh, a class prefect goes to meet the principal every week now his class has he has 30 people besides him and he goes in group of three okay so he has to select three people from this and he cannot select the same three people from the group and i want you to identify if it's permutation or combination of course it's combination because the order of selection does not matter here i can select a b c and it is the same as me selecting b a c or c b a so therefore I'm going to use combination formula where the total number of people is 30 that will be n and the required number of people will be 3. So if I apply this I would get 30 factorial divided by 3 factorial into 30 minus 3 that is 27 factorial. So I would be getting 30 into 29 into 28 27 factorial will get cancelled. 3 into 2 where I'll be cancelling this out and my answer would be okay I'm so sorry I kept solving but the question has the option as such which will be 30 C3 therefore option B is the right answer let's see the next question the next question says several teams take part in a competition each of which, which must play one game with all the other teams how many teams took part in competition if they played 45 games in all so which means all different combinations has been done right because every team has played with each other team which means every different combination has been performed so all i have to find out is n c r is equal to 45 now i know that the value of r is 2 because in a competition two teams are fighting so I'll just have to find out n. So the given options are 5, 10, 15 and 20. I'll just substitute. So now I'll check for 5. 5c2 5 will give me 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial into 3 factorial which will be 5 into 4 divided by 2 that is 10. It's not the answer. The next option is 10c2 where 10 factorial divided by 2 factorial into 8 factorial that is 10 into 9 divided by 2 which will be 5 nines are 45 therefore our answer is 10 that is option B is the right answer